Welcome back. It's time for your health where we discuss matters that concern your health, the health sector and various conditions that affect people and just to provide an understanding of them and what we can do as a society to accommodate them as well as if you're suffering from some of these conditions, what you can do to get treatment or just live a normal basic life despite, despite all of that. And joining today we are discussing cleft palates as I said earlier and the condition is something that occurs in unborn children. Of course they're born with it and they're very treatment options and of course uh, this is something that has been dealt with in Kenya there are treatment options in Kenya for decades but of course there's some of the challenges that oh, they face people suffering from this are uh, something that we are keen to discover and discuss because personally I thought once you have the surgery that is it but of course there are some other conditions some other things that we need to be taking account of and joining me for that discussion we're having Dr. Meshak Onguti who's a maxillofacial surgeon as well as the former director of KNH welcome to the show as well as Lucia Moki who is a journalist with CDTN and of course you had an organization that deals with this and um, I'll allow you to to introduce it and tell us what it does. Um, thank you so much for yeah. having me on the show. Yeah. Well, like you said, uh, my name is Lucia, mm -hmm. and um, I'm a journalist by profession. Right. I have done this for close to 10 years, mm -hmm. and I'm also the founder of Cleft Click Kenya. Yeah. And yes. So why did I find? Uh, why did I uh, uh, Why uh, Why did I found uh, Cleft Click Kenya? Yeah. Because I it's an initiative that mm -hmm. I have started mm -hmm. to basically create awareness. Uh -huh on uh, cleft lip and palate, mm -hmm. how we can deal with it as a society, okay. having lived with it. Okay, yes. right. Now, I, I would like to get your story on this because you yourself were born with this condition and you got treated uh, at around five. But I want us to understand what a cleft palate, or is it a cleft lip palate is? And I'll bring in Dr. Onguti to just demystify this condition. Yeah, thank you very much, mm -hmm. uh, Janet, and thank you for hosting us here. Uh, a cleft lip or cleft palate, yes. as we say, mm. is a deformity that occurs on the face. Okay. And uh, when we talk of the lip, mm -hmm. if you see, if you look at, you say, you have two, two parts of the lip, the upper lip and the lower lip. Yes. In most cases, you'll find that in normal developments, when I look at you, I see there's nothing that has gone wrong. Mm -hmm. But if, when a child has got a cleft lip, it would simply mean that the two parts of the lip, from the left and the right, yes. they don't join together. Uh -huh. either at one point or at okay. two points okay. and therefore you have a gap uh -huh. so you can be able to look at the patient and you look directly to the nose okay. and see what's happening on the other side uh -huh. uh, which means that the face being the first mm -hmm. way of expression mm -hmm. if someone looks and says look there's something very serious on that particular aspect yes. the palate mm -hmm. uh, the roof of the mouth mm -hmm. it also opens it doesn't, it doesn't join and there's now an opening a hole okay. directly into the nose Okay. Remember all these things, you know, the, the way the, the face is made, yeah. and then you realize there are so many things that are on the face yeah. that actually divine you. Mm -hmm. You the actual way what they have to see, the nose trees, mm -hmm. the mouth, all those things work in unison. Yeah. So when you have this uh, deformity, that's 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 what you call a cleft, a cleft. cleft, a cleft palate. Yeah. The thing is that they are born with it. That's why it become, they call it congenital. Mm -hmm. And I think the word congenital, as we'll discuss later on, is, is not a very good term. Okay. Because people then begin saying, no, if it's congenital, yeah. these, these people cannot even be treated. Uh -huh. So basically, that's why I'm bringing that word in. Okay. So it's a, it's a deformity mm -hmm. that actually affects the mm -hmm. growth of the face. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and sometimes it's not on the face, it just goes up to the, the, the skull itself, yes. Okay, yeah. so that, that seems pretty serious because we need this our uh, orifices to breathe, to, to eat. Our teeth are also then affected when you're, you're talking about the, the cleft palate, right? Uh, you see, the human body mm. has certain special functions. Every part of it has a function. Unfortunately, the face mm plays a very major role yeah. and it divines you as an individual. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. makes you it be known whom you are in. Yeah. Now, when someone has a cleft clip and a cleft palate, mm -hmm. it's, it simply means that if that effect is there. If it, it means it has altered certain functions that are going to be. Yeah. For example, for a child mm -hmm. with a cleft clip and a cleft palate, it cannot be able to suck. Uh -huh. So even feeding becomes a problem from what go right. from day zero when the child is born. Right. You will find that this child even crying, mm -hmm. even when he cries, you know, sounds come through the nostrils. Uh -huh. Then you will also find that this child 
because of that open, mm. you know, the air to come to the environment and now he was in the, in the womb because he was protected, mm. or she was protected. Yes. When the child comes out, now the, everything is open. It's exposed. And they begin having immediately mm. infections, uh -huh. you know, of the, uh, the, the upper respiratory tract infections. Right. They begin having those problems. Mm. Feeding becomes a major problem. Okay. So from the day zero, it actually becomes a problem for the African thing. Mm. So the treatment of these people, as we'll talk later on, okay. is from day zero until they are actually adults. Okay. Because it's not a one-time treatment. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of things will be done. Uh -huh. Because the chores are not going together. Uh, and they will need to be put together. So that it, if you don't eat, don't come together. Okay. You can't eat. Yeah. Now, you, I'm, I'm, <laughs> it, it's pretty. I mean, you can't basically live a normal life. And yes. I would like to bring um, Miss uh, Lucia into the conversation. You suffered from that. I don't know if you, your memory is sharp enough to remember the time before your treatment. Uh, do you remember anything when you were a kid before you got that treatment? How the experience was? And perhaps also why you, you got it at five years old, right? Five months. Five, five months. Yeah, oh, five yeah, months, five it was months, quite six. immediate. Yeah, 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 but yeah. tell us your experience, even after the treatment that you got, the kind and your experience after. Okay, basically, I cannot actually uh, mm. remember how mm -hmm. it felt like. Mm. But um, having lived with it, yes. a fellow cleft will tell you it has not been easy. Okay. It's not easy because of how the society yeah. has portrayed the narrative. All right. Because of how the, the society looks at us, okay? Mm -hmm. we, I have suffered self-esteem issues okay. stemming from this. Mm -hmm. I had this, the corrective surgery, mm -hmm. but I still have to undergo other reconstructive surgeries, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Because when it was done when I was young, mm -hmm. I have grown. I'm an adult now. Yeah. So I, there were things that were not done properly, oh. which Dr. doctor is going to be able to explain. Yes. Right now I'm doing my dental procedure mm -hmm. that has been caused primarily by the cleft palate. Wow. Okay? Mm. So it's, it's not an easy journey. Mm. It's not an easy journey. Okay. And, and sometimes we look, like personally, I look at myself at the mirror mm -hmm. and I'm starting to accept mm -hmm. how I look. I'm yeah. starting to accept the reflection on the mirror, mm -hmm. you know? So if we can at least change the narrative, the narrative. that we are not cast, mm. we are normal people. Perhaps we, 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 we are jumping the gun by saying change the narrative. Yes. What is the narrative? The narrative yeah. is the society mm -hmm. has made people think mm -hmm. that the facial, the physical mm -hmm. appearance is what probably is used to determine somebody's intelligence, Who you are. Okay? Mm -hmm. their social ability. Okay. And that is why you will find people like me living with cleft lip and palate mm -hmm. are, not, are inferior people, you uh -huh. know? And they are considered to be inferior. Mm -hmm. You're not able to have the confidence to express yourself. Wow. You're not able to, you feel like you're less of a person mm -hmm. because of, of how you look like. Wow. And looking at you, to me, you're a beautiful young lady. I mean, I d I, perhaps it's where how you're brought up and then, because no, to me, you're no, a normal no, no. human no, being. No, 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 no. If you wouldn't tell me, or yeah. maybe if I'm not so educated on what yeah. a cleft lip, yeah. I wouldn't know. I I just yeah. think maybe you have something with your teeth something and that's it. And that's but it. then there are some stig there is stigma that you yes. have faced yes. growing up and in, uh, in in your adulthood. Tell us some of the experiences you have had as yeah. something somebody having a, a cleft lip palate yeah. and a, a, that was faked, but still is is be, is causing some reactions from people. Yeah. Before before I even comment on that, yeah. Like you have said, like if you look at me, you will think I'm beautiful. Yeah. But to me, mm -hmm. because of the psychological effect uh, okay. that this has on me, mm -hmm. I don't see that. Uh -huh. Okay, I don't feel like I am able, I am able to stand in front of people and talk and listen to me without concentrating right. on my cleft lip and palate. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So even if we have as many corrective surgeries mm -hmm. and, do, and and become perfect, mm -hmm. if that's what we mean. Yes. Then, if we don't deal with the mental issues first, uh -huh. with post-surgery, okay. then we are not going to move forward Absolutely. as people living mm -hmm. with cleft lip mm -hmm. and palate. Um, okay? Now, yeah. talking about stigmatization yes. and discrimination, mm -hmm. it is there. Mm -hmm. It is there. And that is why you find we don't have anchors of the uh, cleft lip and yeah, palate. Yeah. Why? Because according to the society and the way we have structured it mm -hmm. then if you have a dent if you have a defect on your face then you're not presentable enough this is very curious because yes. you work with cgtn yes right? so yes. how, how i does work that with fear? cgtn yes. let me tell you something brief about me mm -hmm. i wanted to be a lawyer uh-huh i wanted to be a lawyer okay and and a remark from my teacher in high school made me change my mind 
Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. maybe it was it was it was just a simple remark to mm -hmm. push me to be a better student. Yes. Okay, but that remark mm -hmm. changed my line. What, what did I she say? say? And, and I remember I was an average student in, in school. Mm -hmm. I was an average student, mm -hmm. and mathematics is not one of my strengths. Your strengths, yeah. It's not one of my strengths. <laughs> okay. Neither was it mine. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> we all have we all have those subjects that we are not yeah. just good at. Mm -hmm. And I remember he told me. Um, my dad is an architect yeah. and he was doing one of the projects in school and, and coincidentally we had done a cut mm -hmm. and then he came in and, and I was obviously the, almost the last last person right. and he said Lucia your father draws complicated stuff and mm -hmm. you cannot even do simple equations uh, you're not going to be anything in the society if you don't have mathematics wow. and then I sat back and I asked myself wow, wow. you know mm -hmm. who is going to allow me to represent them looking mm -hmm. like this oh so you, you know, it connected was, to you exactly your, uh, and maybe he was pushing me to be a Just, better student, yeah. but because of what the demons I was fighting mm -hmm. inside, mm -hmm. I felt like I was being mm -hmm. bullied yes. by my teacher because I looked like this. this. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So, so I, I changed yeah. my mind mm -hmm. and became an, a journalist. Wow. But now I said, if I want to be an anchor, I have to stand in front of people yeah. and talk to people yeah, who is going to listen to me. <laughs> you see, the yeah. self-esteem issue still Cut, follow yeah up even when you're an adult okay. so I changed I'm a technician ah, mm. so you didn't what, pursue them no, no, in no, front no, of camera no no no, no. Oh, I did not have the confidence the, to do, to do it yes, yeah. yes so yes. ideally I'd like um, uh, Dr. Onguchi to come in so ideally what should have happened in her case after it was fixed physically let me slightly amplify yeah. what she has just said yeah. because uh, seeing uh, having dealt with so many patients and oh. seen families and everything else you know from the word go when the child is born mm. Mm. with that deformity of the nature we're talking about. Yeah. And unfortunately for our society, we don't look at that as a positive thing or something that, you know, that that, that child is normal. Mm -hmm. We should always be classifying that child, yeah. that that child mm -hmm. is somehow inferior to any other child mm -hmm. or another person that has been born. So, so from the word go, you know, that picture and the, the, the way we talk, yeah. Both the parents, yeah. because at, at that time the child has not even aware of it, mm. are, 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 are concerned psychologically they are affected. Mm. They begin feeling that, and it's worse, because in certain tribes they actually say that you know, the, the, the lady has brought in some bad omen to the family. So yeah. they begin saying, and unfortunately a number of our children, I mean, we have taken care of some who have been abandoned in the hospitals. Just because of a cleft palate? Cleft palate, nothing, nothing happened. Wow. But people have not realized that these children are so smart, mm. they are intelligent, mm. they can actually give them the opportunity, apart from that which can be corrected because mm -hmm. of the science that has improved, yeah. they can actually become, the f you know, they can be anything. I mean, they will be sitting there yeah. and interviewing mm -hmm. uh, uh, people like us at this yes. particular moment. They can be the minister. They can be the, uh, the president Anything of this country. Uh, and so, so from the word go, they begin growing, knowing that actually they are inferior. Something is wrong with And you'll find that when you go to school, mm -hmm. the children have not been trained to be sympathetic and help them to improve. Yeah. They actually begin even having names, calling them names of yeah. various things on. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, when we listen to the stories they tell us, it's quite a big problem. Yeah. And kids can be bullies, yeah. you can imagine. <laughs> but, <Yeah. laughs> but what I would like to say, that they look, they, mm. what has happened is that these conditions, mm. like anything else, like you had heart problems, yeah. people can have heart surgeries and mm -hmm. get improved. This can be done very effectively and very properly mm -hmm. in stages, for example. Uh, because remember, the, this cleft affects so many structures. While yes. we are talking about the lip, mm. it also affects the nose, mm -hmm. it affects the, the jaws themselves, it affects the teeth, mm -hmm. it will affect the tongue itself. Uh. So, the stages, you know, when you when talk about the jaws, these are treated at a certain age. Mm. Uh, uh, when the child has stopped growing, for example, when you're talking about the growth, you'll find that you have to know when the teeth are coming out so that okay. you can do certain procedures in that particular day. You have to know when the child is going to start talking okay. so that you fix the palate before. Ah. Because the palate, without the palate, you can't talk. All right. And uh, if you listen to her very carefully, mm -hmm. you'll hear that uh, the there is a bit of what you call nasal you mm -hmm. leakage to the nose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and you see, those are, the, those are the kind of things that people look at it and then they begin mm -hmm. criticizing them. Oh. Now, the other thing that she mentioned, See, and I have had an experience on this. Mm. You see, people have not looked at this as a disability that requires, and it's a, you know, treatment. Because mm -hmm. once you treat these people, yeah. and they get better, mm. economically they become very valuable than anybody else. Mm -hmm. Because they will actually go back to the set yes. and begin 
uh, contributing to it. Yeah. But when you find that, for example, that insurances, liable is us. Remember, mm -hmm. it's not only us who are the people, the society, but even the insurances. Yeah. Tell the parent mm -hmm. that this is congenital. Oh. And you know you are insured. Yeah. That we cannot cover it. Okay. That means they begin condemning a child who has uh -huh. just been born that you can have a miserable life mm -hmm. from that beginning of mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. Instead of saying, look, this thing can be fixed and in future to be more cheaper. Yes. I mean, more profit for the mm -hmm. everything else. Mm -hmm. so, so these are things that I find. But the, the beauty is that these problems are fixed. Yes. They can be properly treated. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and what we are now, we reach a stage whereby when you... If they are done properly mm -hmm. in specialist centers, right. unfortunately, again, this is not something that can be done anywhere. Mm. It requires well-established institutions mm -hmm. and very well-skilled manpower okay. so that when you do it, you know you have done the best yeah. and you, you, you will not be able to do repetitive surgeries mm -hmm. and, and again as it used to be done in the mm -hmm. past mm -hmm. when the techniques were not very good. Okay. Yeah. So I see a lot of times there are programs where it's done for free. Yes. So this is, I to me, a very good thing because a lot of families mm -hmm. cannot afford and insurances are doing what they're doing, right, uh, not affording them the right uh, uh, to get treated under the, their covers. So when it is done the operation and it's at, at, at the latter stage yours was at five months then what is the follow-up because you seem to say that you have said earlier that there were some things that were left out or in terms of education or in terms of the follow-ups that the good doctors talked about what are these that is missing in society or in terms of knowledge about caring for that um, the, the cleft lip lip after the fact that it has been taken care of in, the, yeah. in early stages okay basically um like in my case mm. and what I have gone through and what I have experienced as yeah. one living with a cleft lip mm. and palate, it is important to follow up on these kids mm. and make sure that their psychological status is in order. Okay. Like I said before, even if we do so many surgeries mm. and our mental state is not okay, yes. then nobody is going to be fine, okay? Mm. Let us have the let us have like you said the government has, has put in place and in place mm -hmm. and some of uh, these charitable organizations they've put in place measures to have this correct surgeries yes. but what happens to these kids when they grow up After the fact. when they look at themselves in the mirror mm -hmm. and see themselves looking different mm -hmm. who mentors these kids yeah. okay mm -hmm. when I was going through the dental procedure and I'm still going through it right. I felt that nobody understood me nobody yeah. understood what I was going through mm -hmm. so I tried looking for a community where at least I can have a safe space mm -hmm. to express mm -hmm. myself mm -hmm. Did you somebody find to one? hear me I didn't find one oh. and that is why mm -hmm. I came up with cleft Kenya, mm -hmm. so that at least we can provide an avenue where people can share their experiences. Mm -hmm. Just talking like we are doing is therapy. Yes, that's it enough is. therapy. Yeah, just telling me, it. thank you. Just telling me, hey yeah. Lucia, did you wake up with a blocked nozzle? Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, you mm -hmm. know, because I feel like I'm not the only one in this. Yeah. We are all of us in this yes. together. Yes, yeah. yeah, and I know a lot of there are a lot of social media groups that yes. people can turn to, and perhaps this is one that not many people are grouping together to connect about it. Yes. What do you think? Of, is causing this is it the stigma is it the lack uh, of education i feel i feel fine. first of all is mm -hmm. the lack of education uh -huh. the lack of the of people mm -hmm. knowing what actually clear flip and palette is, is yeah. because if i ask you today mm -hmm. or if i ask uh, a layman out there mm -hmm. what cancer is they have a brief idea of what it is yeah. or what even diabetes is but when you talk about the cleft lip and palate or any craniofacial defects yes then somebody will be like what are you talking mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. so i feel like we have not done a mm -hmm. good job in trying to inform and educate people mm -hmm. on what actually this yes. condition is mm -hmm. and now it it also requires now that you have revealed that you it actually fixing it could go into your adulthood yes and this means that you had to have to dig deeper into your pockets yes. to, to, to cater for these surgeries yes. and the insurance companies are not are not with you on this on your own your own so how has this experience been for you so wow it's an expensive <laughs> affair yeah it's an expensive affair mm -hmm. because if you tell me mm -hmm. to wait for the time that maybe smile train are mm -hmm. going to organize yeah. an outreach program mm -hmm. or Dr. Tari, mm -hmm. together with his other colleagues are going to organize mm -hmm. an outreach yeah. how many people mm -hmm. are willing 
to come to that camp. So many people. Absolutely. Yeah. So if I do not get to see Daktari then, when do I see? When will you? So, you so if to. I don't have the money to mm. finance this, I'm lucky that I'm working. Mm. And, and it's not that it's still affordable. Yeah. You know, mm. it's costly. Yeah. It's very costly. And it's not a cosmetic procedure. Yeah. There's nothing cosmetic about repairing a cleft mm -hmm. palate mm -hmm. or even a cleft lip yeah. or even your dental formula. There is nothing cosmetic about yeah. that. Yes. It is expensive. Mm -hmm. It is. Mm -hmm. So if you could give us figures roughly, uh, <laughs> if you can remember, how much can you say that you have spent just trying to fix you, the, the cleft palate after the fact that it was cleared when you, it was fixed when you, the initial stages when you were five months mm -hmm. later on in life? Could you give us a rough e estimate of what you have had to put into it? I haven't still done my reconstructive uh, uh, surgery on the cleft palate. Mm. I still haven't done it wow. because I still I didn't I didn't I, I did not uh, I did not. First of all, I had not accepted uh, the fact that I have to do a reconstructive surgery. surgery. Mm -hmm. I was still uh, I was still of the idea that I'm okay the way I, I am. But you see, in the morning, mm -hmm. around around um, um, five a.m. No, in the evening, six p.m. Mm -hmm. till morning, late till, I have a blocked nose one. Oh. So I have the tatari has to go in mm -hmm. and find out what That's exactly the problem yeah. is. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I cannot chew like a lot of food mm. okay because mm. it will go in through the palate oh wow you know and this was fixed when you were this a was kid. fixed so when i was a kid was a problem because yeah. I, I'm, I'm 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 one of the beneficiaries of operation smile yeah. and i thank god for that mm. because i am where i am because of operation smile they yes. gave me a reason to smile yeah. okay but if you look at the technology that they used then mm -hmm. and now it's very different oh, okay. very different and people in my age bracket mm -hmm. will have to do the reconstructive surgery mm -hmm. because as much as everything was put together mm -hmm. there were some things that were left out mm -hmm. yeah. if i am to estimate the cost mm -hmm. roughly like tiny i think <laughs> <laughs> it will be close to i think you have to say that look yeah. for some you know when the dentists bring the teeth together where they were displaced yes yeah. That, that alone is costing you between that alone is costing me between 200 and 250,000. Wow. Know, that, that's what it is. Wow. Yeah, now, because the, com the, the, the insurance company cannot mm. cover that. for an issue that was caused mm -hmm. by a congenital birth defect. Yes, yes. So I have to go back to my pocket. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and even for you to get doctors mm. or a dental clinic mm -hmm. that can do the procedure perfectly. Yes. When they have the, the cleft palate in mind, mm. there are few of these that mm. can conduct this okay. procedure. Yeah. Okay. If I'm to do the cleft palate, Dr. Like Tari, if I'm to go if I'm to go back in my mm. pocket, mm -hmm. that will cost me roughly After I need to do this you, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That will cost me uh, roughly maybe uh, three hundred thousand wow. or something. So at the end you might use even million. And I have my lip because yeah. the muscles are not put in together. Mm. So it's, 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 it's a whole it's lot a of mess. it's I mean, a mess yeah. and, and sometimes you sit down and you think about it mm -hmm. and you wonder why and have we been left behind mm -hmm. where are we going wrong as a society yes and this is something you see you you get to feel you're struggling you, with I, I struggle with it because if I wasn't struggling with mm -hmm. it then I would not have any issues mm -hmm. wanting to rectify what yes. was done to me uh, okay. Dr. Onkuti I would like you to just explain how come she's dealing with this as an adult because for yeah. most people we don't even know it goes that deep. We think it's just the lip that's separated. Now it's put together and it's far, but I, clearly not. I, I think it's the way yeah. the management of uh, cleft lip and cleft palate was brought to us. Yes. Where you were, you know, we, we thought that, for example, that when you've done the surgery, mm. then that's it. And we used to see the posters all over the yeah. baby you have. Uh, yeah. you <laughs> yes, 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 yeah. yes. Uh, you see, one of the things that we in the local, like in Africa now, we've mm -hmm. tried to look, let's begin having our own you know, uh, systems of doing things, mm -hmm. is because you see, it was a very good thing. You know, yes. when, when the organization like Operation Smile and Smile mm -hmm. Train came, you know, the other part, there were many people who were walking around with these deformities. Mm -hmm. yeah. And therefore they could not, and so they wanted to reduce that, that number and mm -hmm. make sure everything is being done now. Mm -hmm. But it, that was not geared to have consistency in terms of treatment. Mm -hmm. Because I have told you that, look, these stages of treatment, yeah. It's like the lip, mm -hmm. fix it between three, before three months. Yes. Uh, these days, in a very you know, well developed center, you mm -hmm. can even fix it within, within the first few days uh -huh. of life. Uh -huh. uh, but on pallets, you fix them six months when, before the child starts talking. So mm -hmm. that at least people will not be able to recognize that actually the child has a deformity. Yes. And when he goes to school, he doesn't have to struggle. Yeah. So, so, so that treatment, as I've said, from uh, childhood to adulthood, mm -hmm. I mean, what you call uh, adolescency, mm -hmm. actually around the age of 16, 17, mm -hmm. 
Now, you asked about the cost. Yes. And I really would difference. Many of these space people are people who do not have any insurance. Mm -hmm. Many of these people are people who do, we don't have centers. Yeah. So again, the problem was that when these groups were coming in, is mm -hmm. that you know they, 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 we are, they are done everywhere. Yeah. But then you see that does not have a structure whereby you say, look, there are certain things, a comprehensive care, there are certain mm -hmm. things that we must look, look, take care of. Yes. So as a result of that, mm -hmm. uh, we are, there are many people in the society mm -hmm. who might have been but that treatment was not up to the to bar where it's supposed yeah. to be, and mm -hmm. they needed to have these uh, either yeah. revisions, mm -hmm. ensure that they correct those deformities, mm -hmm. and ensure that everything is going on well. Mm -hmm. Because while it looks very nice here, yes. there are some that you'll find that the face does not go forward. Okay. You'll find that the, you know the yeah. jaws are different now. The nostrils mm -hmm. were not, as he says in this particular case, like mm -hmm. when I look around, we have said we'll do something, uh, we'll differently yeah. revise, uh, so that nobody will know that he actually had a cleft at that right. moment. Yeah. So, 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 so because of that, mm -hmm. and, and then unfortunately also, when these groups came in, they say that these operations are free of charge. Three years. Now. And easy. They and, say it's a very simple surgery. Yeah, yeah. But, but you see, yeah. that's where mm -hmm. we are not honest with ourselves. Mm -hmm. This is not an easy operation. Okay. This requires skill. Because you see, you are dealing with the face, so you can be able to correct it. Yeah. Make sure that it you make it as, as normal as, as well. possible. Mm. Function in, when you talk normal function, that means that functionally it must yeah. be okay. Mm. Appearance it must be okay. Mm -hmm. And and please remember, when we talk about cosmetics, it's not cosmetic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cosmetic simply means that you have a normal body, mm -hmm. but you want to change the shape of something yeah. there. Just touch <laughs> up with it. Yeah. So 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 it's not it's not yes. a cosmetic. This is necessary. So so on this particular aspect, mm. and then number two, it, it really we must. We have now reached a stage where we say, look, when we audit what you have done in the past, then here this is how we have to move on forward. Yes. And we say no. We here now need to think very seriously. Like, look, these cases must be done mm -hmm. to avoid any future problems in centers that are of high skill manpower. Because mm -hmm. we don't have a, a crisis at the moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that we are able to take care of those who are being born mm -hmm. and the correct the ones that are... The, most of the people who have been corrected before yeah. are going around with deformities of their jaws, mm -hmm. their mouth, their teeth, their nostrils, mm -hmm. and we know we told them everything has been done has nicely. Has been done, yes. Mm -hmm. And perfect. we know mm. our patients trust us. Mm. Because when you tell them this has been done, they don't have a doubt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't have a doubt. Yeah. But we must be able to say, no, mm -hmm. this this we humble now and say, look, they need to have a proper way of doing it. And that, what they say free is not free. Mm -hmm. Because I've talked about that it costs about 300000 mm. uh, I mean, about $100,000 yeah, in, in the US. US yeah. How will it cost? Only mm. thirty thousand shillings mm. or forty thousand shillings yeah. here that, it is, that takes care of everything else. Mm. This this is this first mm. And because of that, we are now asking look, we need to really lobby the government yeah. to ensure that these people are, are conscious of disabilities mm -hmm. and help to get treatment. Right. Free of charge mm. in areas where they will be supported from until mm. the treatment is finished. Yes. Okay. Um, and she has talked about something that has surprised me, that even to date, when you eat some of the food, some types of food can actually go, go through to, to the nasal area. Mm -hmm. So um, how do you now go forward and treat this sort of uh, thing later on? Because yes. it, it, yeah, it, it took time <laughs> exactly. and it, she, she, didn't, she ignored it for a while, but then it's clearly she needs to, it's fixed. So as a doctor, how do you now yeah. attack the, the, it? You see, mm -hmm. the, the main aim of treating these patients yeah. is to make sure that they become normal like yes. another person. Mm. That means the mouth the mouth should be sealed away from the nostrils so mm. there is no leakage going oh, into the area. Mm. The nostrils should be well balanced mm -hmm. so that, that means the muscles everything we, we, we bring the normal tissues together. Yeah. So 
uh, when that, by the time she was done, mm -hmm. most of the techniques are not going to be able to improve. Right? Okay. In fact, we have, we have improved a lot of ways that we can reduce those mm -hmm. kind of problems. Mm -hmm. So there's no problem. I'm yeah. actually assured that, look, when she came to <laughs> see me and they said, I told her, look, yeah. this can be fixed very well. Uh -huh. And I, I told her, look, uh, we will make sure that it's fixed up. Mm -hmm. Your lips are balanced well. Yeah. You are, because we realize that, for example, that, you know, because at that time, the mm -hmm. side is short. Mm -hmm. That seal inside, the ball is made nicely. Mm -hmm. It should be no And the be. techniques, mm -hmm. the safety is, is there. Mm -hmm. And that's why we actually are appealing that look, those people who have got this kind of deformities, yeah. we call them secondary deformities. Uh -huh. Because the primary surgery was done, mm -hmm. but that did not correct certain things. Mm -hmm. So now we call the secondary deformities where we actually, sometimes we redo the whole lip so that yes. we can be able to get everything back to it, so yeah. or the whole palate. Mm -hmm. we, we can be able to do that and help her. Yeah. They, nobody should fear that they are at 60 yeah. or they are 50. Ah. Or Whatever they are 30 age. years old. Yeah. It, mm -hmm. We can actually, from as I said, from three months all mm -hmm. the way through, mm -hmm. we will take care of those patients. Yes. And, and, and a man like this one, that's why we feel very strong. That mm -hmm. look, we can see, we can review them free of charge. Okay. We can be able to see and mm -hmm. just uh, advise them mm -hmm. and talk to them. Because mm -hmm. what, one thing I've realized that these people don't have people to talk to them. Yeah, like she said, no uh, communities. And, to and, uh, and you'll find that because of the leakage, even when they are eating, mm -hmm. They might want to eat next to you. They might want to sit at a corner. Yeah. And you'll see they are eating slowly ah. because they are, they are conscious that you might see that the food is coming through the nostrils. Oh, no. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, those are things that sometimes, because mm -hmm. they don't happen to you, mm -hmm. you will take for granted. Yes. So yeah. if, if we are able to, to make sure that we, we mm -hmm. get more concerned about mm -hmm. it and actually assist in these patients, mm -hmm. we can be able to you mm -hmm. know, help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the psychological effects have to do with some of those things that we say it's considered a curse, is you considered a bad omen. How have you, have you interacted with people or have you faced these types of um, uh, wayward thinking about the cleft lip palate and how have you been able to interact with it? Well, uh, <coughs> one thing I will tell you for free, mm -hmm is that it has been a burden okay it's like a burden mm -hmm. there's nothing as bad mm -hmm. as you walking mm -hmm. past a group of people ah, yeah. and they start mm -hmm. and they mama mm -hmm. even if it has nothing to do with your cleft yeah just because you've grown up Mm. thinking that you're different yeah that drains you mm. it drains you completely mm. i have faced that i have faced instances where you you're made to feel like you're not presentable mm -hmm. i've had to learn how to put on lipstick yeah so that i can be able to conceal the cleft lip uh -huh. it. i've had a supportive family my biggest cheerleaders yeah. But that is within the confines of my family. Yeah. When I step out, mm -hmm. I will not feel that. Yeah, I don't true. feel that. Because you're outside your safety. Exactly. Yeah. I, I, I do not feel like we have been given mm. an opportunity to operate like normal people. Mm. I have spent almost all my life trying to prove that having a cleft lip and a palate does not hinder you from anything. Mm. I have gone to school, I have had my papers right, I'm a mm -hmm. first class student. Wow. But because people will look at me and feel like my physical structures define me, mm -hmm. it's not a good thing. And, yeah. and I'm grateful that the society we grew up in, in our time, yeah. we were taught to be strong. But the kids that are growing up right, right now, now yeah. we are going to lose children to self-esteem. Yes. We are going to lose children to depression. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. We are going to have people... I have lost opportunities. I mm -hmm. have lost chances. I have lost possibilities. Could you, could you go deeper you know? into that, perhaps in the job market and these opportunities you're speaking about? I wish I could. Yeah? I wish I could. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's, it's still an issue that I'm learning to deal with. Uh -huh. And I am grateful that there are possibilities mm -hmm. out there mm -hmm. through doctoring, mm -hmm. through initiatives mm -hmm. that can help inform. If I walk out there, my colleagues don't know what I go through. Yeah. 
my friends don't know what I go through mm -hmm. because I put up a, a confident brave and brave face. Mm -hmm. But inside me, I would really wish for a person to ask me, mm -hmm. are you okay? okay. Yeah. I have never had a chance to speak to someone mm -hmm. who looks like me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and share notes. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. I, 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 I will be honest with you. Mm -hmm. The first time I am meeting a person with a cleft, Right. That is not a, a, a blood sibling. Mm -hmm. It's like two, three months ago. Really? What does that tell you? Uh, that these are reserved people. people yeah. and, it, and, 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 and if as a society we mm -hmm. stop talking in hushed tones, tones about it. let us acknowledge mm -hmm. that it is a condition mm -hmm. that is affecting us mm -hmm. and it is there. Mm -hmm. I cannot change myself i cannot change lucia yeah. but i'm grateful i am where i am yeah. i'm grateful that i'm learning to mm -hmm. overcome that i'm a cleft mm -hmm. and i'm a proud cleft yeah because i've done so much with myself yeah. because i'm sure i can help together with tactari other children yes. that have of the same opinion mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. children and even adults and even yeah. adults yeah. mostly preteens mm -hmm. when you are at that age of self-awareness that's a critical stage mm -hmm. somebody will brush it off and say you know what mm -hmm. it just looks yeah what, what's a big deal well, with yes. looks mm -hmm. but looks are what the, i can look at you and mm -hmm. because i can see that you're perfect i'll mm -hmm. say you're intelligent yeah what yeah, has made that me think that that, yeah, that, that is not the, the, you will look at me yeah. and will rule me out oh, and you'll say oh no i don't think she can reason beyond mm -hmm. her face my goodness yes yeah which is quite unfortunate and shallow over fortunate very shallow yeah. so if at least we inform the public what actually this is mm -hmm. up until we educate the public mm -hmm. how it feels mm -hmm. and up until we train our children how to be kind to people so that they grow up with those virtues mm -hmm. then we will at least have reached a point mm -hmm. in the society where we can say you know what mm -hmm. You can do better. Yeah. You can you can live a normal life. Mm -hmm. It does not matter how you look yes. like. Yeah, you know? Moving matter. forward as a society. Mm -hmm. and then, Let us mm -hmm. teach our children to be kind, mm -hmm. to be acceptive of people, irregardless yeah. of their difference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then, yeah. then I, we will be performing citizens of this country. Absolutely. And most of us, there's a research that has been done. Mm -hmm. Most of most of people who live with cleft lip and palate mm -hmm. are considered to be underachievers. underachievers. Not not primarily maybe because of, of, of a negative impact or maybe because they've suffered A B C D or because they have been abused. Right. But because of their psychological you know, mm -hmm. surgical corrective surgeries mm -hmm. go beyond. It yeah. is beyond. Mm -hmm. It's, it's like I have told you, mm -hmm. it's not a one thing, it's not a one day thing yes. that you're going to have surgery on this year mm -hmm. and that's it. And that's it. No, mm -hmm. I will need follow-up, I will need reconstructive, mm -hmm. I will need to alignment, yes. I will need to watch my nutrition, mm -hmm. you know. It's, it's, it's a combination yeah. of a lot And it's actually of pretty, uh, it would seem like a vicious cycle because if you need to get all that done, you need to have the money, there's no insurance, and this means you need a very good job mm -hmm. that pays you really well to be able to afford this ty type of treatment. But at the same time, you're mentally held back because you, need, you feel like I'm not good enough. So how will you perform and get that good job exactly. and get the money exactly. that will help exactly. you fix? And, 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 that's why, yeah. and that's why I'm saying... Right. If we nurture our kids, because yes. they are our future, mm -hmm. we faced what we faced during our time, and we are still facing right now. Yeah. I wish if we grew up, our parents had told us, mm -hmm. hey, Lucia looks A, B, C, D, yes. but it does not mean that it is contagious, oh, that if you yeah. play with her, you're going to get such a defect, yeah. that if you associate with her, mm -hmm. you're not going to. Mm -hmm. be able to perform A, B, C, D. Mm -hmm. We are able people that can perform a mm -hmm. lot of functions, yes. okay? Yeah, and I mean, when you talk about it like that, I, when I, I would say somebody with cleft, uh, a cleft lip needs psychological um, <laughs> attention. Yeah. Well, somebody look at you like, what do you mean? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> because, you because, of what, because of what, mm. because of that narrative that we have had, mm. that, that therapy mm -hmm. is for the white people. Yes. When you tell mm -hmm. someone, hey, I think I need to go for therapy mm -hmm. and right. at least talk and have someone yeah. listen to it's me. It's a rich people problem. Yes, people yeah. will say that it's a, it's a mm. rich man's problem yeah. and yeah. people will not understand. Mm -hmm. Like I'm telling you, people will brush it off mm -hmm. and tell you, you know mm -hmm. what? Yeah. What are, it has, it has nothing, yeah. just live your life. Yeah. But as much as you want to live mm -hmm. your life, mm -hmm. there are these limitations yes. holding you back. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Dr. Nguti, knowing her story and the story of many others that you have been able to treat, what would be the ideal situation in the country? What needs to be fixed? Uh, just 
the ideal situation in the country yeah is to make sure that no child mm -hmm. goes through what she and the men others have gone yeah. through mm -hmm. to the extent that they feel that they're considered as a different yeah. group mm -hmm. in feeder group to the yeah. person there. in fact when even i talk of this counseling uh, or the, the, the psychology people in fact i'll say that look we kenyans ourselves mm -hmm. we actually need to be counseled mm -hmm. to look at these people with regard of their disability that they are actually as effective as anybody else mm -hmm. number two uh, i think we are many uh, local uh, frontiers mm -hmm. uh, who are willing like uh, ourselves to make sure that we 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 leave mm -hmm. or reduce the burden yes that is on with these people mm -hmm. and uh, uh, that's why to the month we have said look we will be in a position that we can be able to screen you know, yeah. they can come and we see them free of charge mm -hmm. we will be able to advise them what should be done yeah. and how they need on and we will, if we find they need treatment we can be able to convince in those areas where they need treatment and mm -hmm. see where the people can can yes. offer them those services free of charge because okay. there's no way they can be and remember when you say mm -hmm. they first of all they cannot get a good job because mm -hmm. They are, because of their condition, mm -hmm. they are late in going to school. Yeah. And they are all the time behind in everything. Mm -hmm. Because they are not given the opportunities. Right. Then lastly, mm -hmm. it's basically to ask uh, government, uh, particularly when they are doing this, to make sure that these are the areas where these people need to be supported. Mm -hmm. They need to be um, insured because they don't have the mm -hmm. money to... Unfortunately, many of the people in the rural areas are very poor, okay. where many of these people are in. Mm -hmm. And when if you look at uh, those particular spots, they see a way how they can be supported. Mm -hmm. Asking our local people, yeah. To come forward mm -hmm. and contribute. Okay. You know, if they contribute, for example, to take the team to a place and go there and work on it, it will yes. be very wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, now, um, I would like you to give a message out there to someone who's living like like you with the same condition. Have have you first of all gotten the psychological help that you need to? to deal with some of the issues that you gathered up coming up with this condition and also what, what would be your advice to somebody out there who's living with this uh, particular uh, issue and just how can they just get through it yeah mm -hmm. well uh, first of all i will say that mm -hmm. Today is full of possibilities mm -hmm. because I can comfortably sit here, yeah. talk about and share my story. Yeah. But why would I do that? Mm -hmm. Because I will not be comfortable, mm -hmm. I will not sleep well at night mm -hmm. knowing that there's someone out there going through what I'm going through yeah. and I cannot do nothing to, to help. help. Mm -hmm. You know? We, we are accepting ourselves. Mm -hmm. And we would like the society to accept us as we are, as we accept ourselves. Mm -hmm. Let us yes. let us let mm -hmm. us at least find solace in each other. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and and Dr. and I have partnered mm -hmm. and, uh, and and I would like anybody out there mm -hmm. if not if mm -hmm. there's a problem out there. Yeah. You feel that your surgery was not that well done then you can come, mm -hmm. have yourself checked. Mm -hmm. And if there's anybody out there who yeah. also needs help, mm -hmm. there's a number here. Yeah. Can I say it out loud? Yeah, you so can. that they can, yes. they can reach to us, mm -hmm. so that we can conduct mm -hmm. at least some reviews on them. Right. Uh, 0719 mm -hmm. 0719 That's the number to call. That's the number mm -hmm. to call mm -hmm. so that you can schedule an appointment or just mm -hmm. come in mm -hmm. so that we can review you. Yes. At least see what we can do mm -hmm. for you. For you, yes. yes. Whether it's reconstructive surgery, mm -hmm. whether it's constructive surgery, yeah. whether it's just psychological help, mm -hmm. we are there to help. Absolutely. And if I did it, yes. if I am here, yeah. then anybody, anybody can, else can yes. overcome living mm -hmm. with a cleft. And it's important to know that there's nothing wrong with you. Just that is because nothing. You have a, there is nothing a, wrong a problem with you. With your I normally say that yeah. God marks the special ones. Mm, yes. That's a good way of looking yes. at it. Now, yes. uh, Dr. Nguti, your last remark on this discussion. Yeah. Um, first of all, to thank uh, KTN News for uh, making sure that uh, they, are, they are actually making this information available to the people in the country. Yes. And I uh, believe that uh, if all of us come together mm -hmm. and assist those in our set who need this help, mm -hmm. without asking how much they will pay you. Yeah then we'll be able to relieve their burden on them. Yeah. Because when many of them come in, mm -hmm. and to those of us who treat them out, yeah. in fact, you even sympathize. You even mm -hmm. find that most of those mothers come in without anything else. And I'm asking that because I know Kenyans are willing people who can be able to come forward, particularly mm -hmm. this month when you're talking about the, these anomalies. Yes. If they can come forward mm -hmm. and help us. Mm -hmm. And 
any mother who has, even if they have delivered their children, they are, they are dead, a week old, they can come and we can advise them yeah. and lay, help them how they can take care of that child until we get treatment. Absolutely. So that's the only what I can be able to mm -hmm. uh, tell. And the number that has been given, we are willing uh, next week, actually yes. on the 10th and 11th, mm -hmm. we want to do free uh, exam in those patients mm -hmm. uh, on 10th and 11th next week. Uh -huh. And anybody from children who have been born, to right. those adults who have had the surgery, but they feel that something that needs to be done, mm -hmm. please do come and consider. Absolutely. And the number that we were given earlier on is 0719 555 0719-555. On the 10th to the 11th is a drive that's happening, so you can get in touch with them and find out how you can get help or how a loved one that you have can get help in terms of this cleft palate. It's not a, a small problem. It needs follow-up treatments. And of course, if the professionals are, that are with us in studio can go ahead and help you this is something that you need to be taking advantage of and of course get counseling and therapy if you feel that this has affected your esteem a lot we have learned a lot about the cleft lip palate and of course this is very very interesting and that's why we have your money to learn more about this it's something that i thought was a very simple condition but clearly it is not but that is why we have this segment to teach you more on some of these conditions and how we can handle them and of 